Today we're going to talk about Windows event logs and how we can use Cribble to make Windows event logs a whole lot uh, cleaner, less uh, verbose, and take up a lot less space on your uh, Splunk system. Uh, you get charged by Splunk for all the data that you bring in, whether it be through processing, whether it be through size, and XML is a horrible format, in my opinion, for being um, highly large. And so here's an example. Here's a Windows event. We can see it's in the XML scheme. There's a lot of repetition. Uh, you tag it, put the beginning tag, the end tag again and again. And so soon this file gets to be very, very large. And there also, you sometimes get problems parsing the logs. If you put it to try to get Splunk to uh, parse out all the fields, they don't always parse right. It can be quite the endeavor to get XML to display cr really nicely in Splunk. So luckily for us, we have Cribble that'll come to the rescue. So we're gonna go talk about how to do that. And so what we're going to do is we're going to create ourselves a brand new pipeline. And so I'm going to call it um, Windows Event for YouTube Demo. That way I remember to get rid of it because I don't need this afterwards. I can put a nice description in here. I hit save. Oh, can't put any spaces in there. So... We'll just remove those right there. If I use that, then I'll save it. And now we're going to add functions. We've got ourselves a pipeline. We can see here are the raw events. They're all, I grabbed my security logs. I grabbed 10 of them and I put them in here. The beauty is I've just talked about Cribble. Cribble allows you to see each of the changes you do it live. Whereas if you make uh, config changes on Splunk, you're going to make the changes, then you're going to go look at the log, see if they made the changes that you wanted. They didn't do what you want, you go back to the drawing board and do it again. So it just makes Cribble so much easier to deal with. Uh, Cribble makes handling this stuff easy. So the first thing we're going to do is we want to we want to change this raw log. And anytime you want to change a field or make new fields, eval is your friend. Eval works just like it does in Splunk, creates new fields, uh, uh, things like that. You'll see that we can choose a filter. Um, we're already going to, if you come down this pipeline, we want to process everything with this. So I'm not going to apply a filter, but sometimes you want to apply a filter here. You apply a filter just like you did in the workflows. You would you give some uh, filter and criteria like field X double equals some value. But we're going to use true, which means everything this will apply to. We're going to add a field. We want to eval on the raw. And now we're going to put some we want to go clean up stuff. We want to remove our tabs, the curly braces, uh, replace new lines and returns with commas, and remove unnecessary null fields and white space. And so we're going to do some regex. And again, I'll briefly cover the regex. I don't want to mess it up, so I've got it copied and pasted. There will be an article. Cribble actually wrote exactly how to do this. I'll give you a link to their document so you can just go grab their code right there. You don't need to worry about uh, trying to hand type this in. If you're like me, you'll end up messing it up. Um, anyway, so basically here's my regex. I'm going to take the underscore raw field. I'm going to replace. I'm going to be looking for all the squirrely brackets, uh, normal brackets, et cetera, and replace them with line breaks and things like that. So anyway, and then one last thing we need to do. So we'll, we'll put this in. You can see, you can see it in effect. We're not quite done yet. We need to erase it. Let's hit save. This is the beauty. I can now see when this data goes through this pipe, what's it going to do? And it's removed some of the extra characters out of here. We're still not done. This is now just, it's a little smaller, but it's still definitely XML. So there's this cool command that, uh, that uh, Cribble people built for us. And I'm, again, just going to copy and paste it. And the basic principle is to use the c.txt parse a win event. And this is a built-in string. It returns, a, you can read as it says, it returns a JSON object. 
and it's going to use the underscore raw as its field. And then here is a comma separated set of fields do you want to remove. If they have no value in them, get rid of them. If not, you can just put faults in there and it will it'll default. It'll be fine. Um, and anyway, but so far, we've got some fields you want to remove. We've seen these show up a bunch in JSONs, in the Windows event log. So we're just going to remove them on out. I hit save. And when I'm done, I have myself JSON events. It has converted my Windows uh, event logs at XML into JSON. Problem is, now it's JSON. JSON's great, but now we got nested. And Splunk doesn't like that. It'll start calling it. That's where you, when you see your stuff with logs, something dot, something dot, that's because of the JSON nested usually. And we don't want dots in our stuff. So we're going to make this really simple and we're going to flatten. That is the command for flattening uh, JSON and other nested layers here. And so the field we want to flatten, well, it's the raw log. So we'll put raw here and we don't need any prefix. We'll, go, we'll look five deep. We only have three deep, so we're fine. And each one of these depths will be def, def, uh, shown using a underscore. That's what that delimiter means. And voila, we've replaced this with flattened JSON. Now, there is one little problem. Everything says underscore raw event, event data, data, data privilege list, event data, data, subject domain name. What I really want is a nice, easy name. I want that last fill, privilege list, domain name, subject log on ID, et cetera. So how can I do that? Well, the next step then is, is to just do a, re a rename field just like you do in Splunk, you can use rename. We're going to take a name that existed, these, and we're going to change it to something else. And in order to make this work, we're going to need to use, once again, go and look at some JavaScript. And we're going to take the rename expression, and we're just going to say, hey, take the name, replace. We're going to look at anything with raw event underscore. We're going to find to the very last example of underscore and grab everything to the right. So that should grab privilege list, subject domain name. Basically, it's going to look here. Yep. Does this have raw event? Yes, it does. All right. Go to the very last uh, underscore and grab everything to the right of it. If I run that. Voila. I have names that are much, much nicer to handle. Sweet. Now that I've done that, the last thing to do is I don't have a very good raw field here. I want to get my raw back. Splunk needs a raw field. It needs something to ingest. And so we need to, we, we flattened it, evaluated it. Now we need to serialize. Serialize is the command that Cribble uses to say, hey, create a brand new field. In this situation, we're going to recreate the raw log. And so the fields we want to serialize is the, uh, we're just going to, we're going to do first, we're going to pick, we can send it back as a CSV, a key value pair, JSON. I like key value pair. Let's just do, keep it with key value pair. Then we want to see which fields we want to serialize. Um, we don't, the bang set symbol, I just erased it, but the bang symbol is not. And so I don't want anything that starts with underscore star. I don't want to put that in the field. I don't want to put anything that starts with cribble in there because that wouldn't have been part of the original event. I don't want the index to go in there. So I'll put that in. I don't want the source to go in there. I don't want the source type to go in there, and but I do want to put everything else. So I'll just use a wildcard star. And just like that, I have created a underscore fields and they all should go into raw. So if I click that, let's see what it does. Boom, I now have my raw field. It's not XML anymore. It's just key value pairs, name, GUID, GUID, event ID, task, much, much easier for Splunk to work through and, and parse out. 
Then the last thing we want to do is we've got all these fields parsed out. Let's get rid of them. There's no reason to have those out externally there. So we're going to use an eval field, uh, an eval again. Eval is, is kind of your uh, Swiss Army knife because it has these keep fields or move fields, and we're going to keep the fields underscore time. We definitely want to keep the underscore time field, and we want to send that in, and we also want to keep the raw log. Def and that's what we want to send to Splunk. We're going to remove everything else. And when I do that, we're going to lose all these green fields. But no big deal, they're still contained in the, in the raw here. And if I hit, now I've got that saved. If I attach that to a route, I could come along here in routing. And I can go to my data routes and I can grab my pipeline and I can find the pipeline I just built. See, I want it to apply to everything in, the, in my index of win event log. And I'm gonna grab the pipeline. We've got this YouTube underscore win XML. This is the one we just created, Windows event logs for YouTube demo. If I select that, the pipeline's applied and the logs start flowing into my index, into my Splunk instance no longer in XML format. So we move from this kind of a format to something along this line, key value. Makes it much, much easier to read, much easier to parse. Uh, Splunk has no problem knowing filled, value, filled, value. And so uh, you'll, you'll have a lot easier time, plus you've reduced down the amount of logs that you're ingesting. And that'll make your license go a lot further. It'll cut down on processing. Whether you use a CPU-based license, whether you do an ingestion-based license, it'll just make things better. I hope this was helpful. I hope you can see a cool feature of Cribble, how Cribble can manipulate this data, make it really easy, take a complicated task. If you want to do this very same thing, in Splunk, it would be quite the, uh, the undertaking to make that happen. And so uh, Cribble does it right there for you. I hope this was helpful. If you like this, show me that you liked it by giving me a thumbs up. Um, I hope you subscribe to the channel. Uh, we continue to keep rolling out pro uh, information. Hope it's useful. We want everyone to become uh, move from being lame analysts to cyber ninjas.